Hello guys, it's Tyrone here, and today we're playing some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Last episode we fought uh, Maya and uh, Mako, and we beat them both pretty easily. So let's hope this episode we beat this um, Rip's Raptor and Yami. I don't know his last name. I think it's Baruka. Baruka? I don't know. Some other B. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's get on with the, the next duel and see if we can beat him. Maya Valentine sat on the hill having a quiet moment to herself. I don't get it. Trash Hotshot Duelist is usually as fun as a full clearance sale. Why can't I enjoy it anymore? Grr, it's all because of that obnoxious punk Joey. I can't believe such an amateur like him beat me. I've got to get even with that grinning gutter punk. At that moment, at that moment, Rex Raptor, who dueled and defeated, who dueled and defeated on the way to Duelist Kingdom, jumped out and surprised her. It's me, Rex Raptor, the Dino Duelist, and I'm itching to finish that match we started on the boat. Funny, I thought I would have knocked your ass your Jurassic, on your Jurassic boat. Think whatever you want, you're about to get stomped. You think I'm going to waste another minute with a pea brain like you? Beat it, Dino Breath. Shoo, shoo. Grr, pea brain? I happen to have the, I happen to have been the finest, the finalist in this year's regional championship, and I have you know that I've already won five star chips. Maya held up her bracelet to show off her, uh, her star chips. What? How'd you get eight already? For one of these like you, being by dueling a chick, they'll score some easy stars. I've only lost once, but once I find a punk Joey, it's payback. Joey Wheeler? How could you lose to him? I'd love to see you try it, and hmm, that gives me an idea. Rex, I'll agree to join. I'll, I'll agree to duel you if you do something for me first. Mai and Rex search for Yugi and his friends in hopes of find hopes of finding Joey. It wasn't long before they did. Huh. Ugh. Don't tell me that that's who I think it is. How are you, Joseph? Glad to see me. Ecstatic. So Joey, if you can still fight in your battles for you, everyone knows if Yugi wasn't there to hold your hand, you wouldn't have beat me, isn't that right, Yugi? That's not true. Oh really? Then I suppose he steps out of your shadow here and now. If Joey thinks he's so tough, let's see him play for himself. Think you have the guts to step up and face the duelist I've arranged for you? I'm dueling on my behalf. Recognize me? That's Rex Raptor. This twerp's supposed to scare me or something? I bet you he ain't so tough. Don't you remember, Joey? Rex played second in the regionals. Well, Joey, you better ask your mommy's permission or what? Oh, you got to ask for your mommy's permission or what? This is your big chance to prove yourself, or you're gonna back out. Don't worry, sis. I'll make you proud. All right then, it's Dino feeding time. Let's duel. Bring it. All right, guys. Sorry if I'm talking too slowly. If I am, please tell me in the comments below, and I'll slow down for you guys. This is my normal, normal talking pace. And I have been told I do talk quite quick, so if that is the case, please do tell me, and I'll slow down in the future. And I'm sorry I'm not doing a custom deck like I said I would in my previous episode. I looked and I simply don't have enough um, good enough cards to build my own deck yet, so once I get further into the game, I hope I can actually create my own decent deck at least, and then play the main story from there. With that being said, let's see what we can do here. We've got 1800, we've got a Beast Warrior, um, Soul Exchange, target one monster your opponent controls this turn. If the tribute, if you tribute a monster, you can you must tribute that monster. As you control it, what? As you control it, you cannot conduct your battle phase. The turn, the turn you activate this card. Okay. Um, equip your fire monster. For now, oh no. Alright, for now guys, I'm just going to put this guy down. I'm going to attack this guy. Or maybe not. So what does that do? Your opponent can't declare an attack this turn. So basically just negated our attack for this turn. So there's nothing to worry about at the minute. That is not good. Remember guys, that this, uh, at this point of the stage, Joey's deck is not really that great. He only got lucky because again, um, I think it was Yugi who, showed him how to who told him to use Time Wizard and Baby Dragon. I can't remember if it was this episode, if it was this part of the episode, or if that was with the wheel wheel Wheeler battle, or with the Maya battle. As I said, I don't remember the episodes that well anymore. So if I am wrong, please do correct me in the comments. Again, I literally can do nothing, unless I use this. Take his best card. 
And then use this to sum and summon it with it using this. See guys, I'm not all that dumb. <laughs> he says as he skips his Oh no, I couldn't actually attack that time, could I? So that's no bad thing. Is my audio any better guys? If it is, please do let me know. Because I'm at the minute I'm trying a different method of recording because I'm not using my bad headset anymore. So if this sounds better, please let me know in the comments and I'll continue doing it like this. The negative side of recording where I am at the minute guys, you feel probably going to hear my computer a lot more. And you're probably going to hear the clicking of my controller a lot more as well. But if that doesn't bother you as much as I think it would, then please do let me know and I might continue recording like this more often. Just for better quality for you guys. So in which case I'm going to distribute them onto this card. So I can get um Lee Lee gun. Lee I don't know how to say that guys. So I'm going to attack both these cards and do um roughly three thousand damage, is it? No, just under I think. Sorry guys, math is not my strong point. <laughs> so how are you guys actually enjoying the series at the minute? Legendary Swordsman. Shoot, this is still a good turn for the worst guys. I'm gonna put these guys in defense, and then I'm gonna put this guy in defense as well. Hopefully, the heart of the card comes into play then, and we get a decent card to save our butts in this certain scenario. Exchange. Oh my God. Yep. So I'll use this card and then use this to special summon this guy. Oh, I just keep forgetting I can't attack the same time. I use that the same time I use this card. So if this is um, not a trap card, I should win this turn. Alright guys, I think this is the first, I think this is the end of the duel. It is, with that being said guys, Rex Raptor is down and out. So I guess you won my star chips. Not only did I win your star chips, but I won your red eyes too. There it is guys, red eyes, black dragon. Alright, um Yeah, I think I've got enough time to record another, another battle for you guys. So with that being said, let's continue. The next one's clearly gonna be against Yugi and Yabi Bakura. Later that night, the team settled down for dinner when they were visited by their high school friend Baku it is Bakura. As they chatted around the campfire, the conversation soon turned to dueling. Let's have a duel right now, not for star chips, but just for a little fun. I'm done with it. After all this star chip stuff, it would be nice to have a duel with no strings attached. I agree, it's just a regular old duel. Sounds like a good, great idea. But before we, we before, but before we get started, there's a little something I'd like to share with you all, and especially with you, Yugi. No, it can't be. A million item? Yes, and the magic of my ring gives, me the, gives us, takes us to the Shadow Realm. Why are you doing this, Bakura? You have something I want, and I aim to take it. Bakura, possessed by some unknown spirit, used the power of the Millennium <laughs> Ring to lock away his friend's soul. Sorry guys, I've never been able to say that word. Her soul has been locked away, and for now, I'm waiting for the countless centuries. The legendary Millennium <laughs> Puzzle is mine. 
Just as Bakura tried to grab the Manelium puzzle, it started to glow. The spirit within the puzzle awoke, man manufacturing Yugi. Imagine se manufacturing himself in Yugi. No, it can't be. You want my Manelium puzzle? Then you're going to have to take it from me. You're going to have to, going to, have to duel me for it. But if I win, you will lose my friends and send us back. Ha! Ah, I agree to your ridiculous terms, Yugi. But I promise you, there's there's more at stake here than, you're, than you comprehend. And this is one shadow game that you cannot win. So how my how's my commentary going at the minute, guys? Does it still suck really bad, or is it improving slightly? Please give me your opinion. And again, if you do so see any improvements I can make, please let me know. I want to make myself better for you guys. I'm sorry if you're getting sick of me saying them, saying that, but it's the truth. work with face up monsters. Um going to get rid of these two. Um tag one spell card in the game and add that card and add that target to your hand. I guess I might keep that one. And I'll get rid of this as well. First off I'm gonna use this. Get rid of that. Which was oh, there was really no point. I could have beaten with this. Yeah, I could. Oh well. What do we have in our summon deck? We just have that. Okay. Um. Just put this guy in defense position for now. Wait our turn until we get better cards to do something more better. When this card inflicts battle for the battle damage your opponent's life point, your opponent discards one card randomly from his or her deck. Which, if that, if none of them are destroy card, I could defeat him and do quite a bit of damage. Oh, that card's got to go, that card's going to destroy me pretty quickly if I don't do something about it. Go and set down the defense position, and I'll attack this card. So at the minute, guys, we have the upper hand, but as you can see, our deck is pretty crap at the minute. So hopefully, we get some decent, high-level cards coming into our hand pretty soon. We got another one of these, which is Ace. So I've actually taken away um, our, our opportunity to attack again. So we're going to have to wait until the next um, round. That card worries me. That better not be a trap card. That destroys my cards as I attack. It's one of them. It's not going to be good for us. Man, why did Yuki have so many, so many low level cards? I didn't realise it. His cards are actually this low. Alright, guys, we're getting up a hand now a little bit. We're starting to get somewhere, which is good. So 
sorry about the computer guys, I can hear in the background now. As I said, since I'm not using my headphones, you're going to be hearing it a lot more. But if the audio does sound better, please let me know and I'll continue doing this and I'll try and edit my volume to keep the background noise to a minimum. Alright guys, from the looks of things, it seems we might have this jewel in the bag now. But no, in my look, because since I've said that now, we're probably going to get Razz's kicks, like we always do. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm just going to put one more, one more card down, despite we're not needing it. If... Yes, I think we've won, guys. We have indeed. Are you okay, Bakura? I am now, thanks so much. Where did you get your million ring? My father picked up on one of his trips. He told me it's from e ancient Egypt. He was shopping in the, in the Merchant Bazaar when your million eye ring caught his eye. The man who sold the ring said to my father it had something to do with the jewel monsters, but they never made any sense to, to me since the card game is new and the ring is clearly ancient. When my father got it back, he gave it to me, he said he felt like I was destined to have it. So with that guys, um, that's our second ep second duel. So thank you, guys, thank, you, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching, hope you have the rest of the evening. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.